Hello and welcome to Circle Time. Sue, our friends are here. Look, Sue, do you want to wave? <laughs> well, Sue, today we're going to talk about letter O. O is for over in the meadow. Let's take a moment to see what day it is first, though, okay? Do you want to help me count? Okay, let's reach into our can and see how we will count. Today it says, we're going to hop, Sue. Will you hop with us as we count and put a new date on the calendar? All right, so here we go. You ready to hop? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Good hopping, Sue. Today is March 6th. Can you say that? March 6th. And if you go up, up, up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with letter M. Letter M says, mmm, like when you eat something yummy. Mmm. <laughs> so what day is it? What day starts with that sound? Monday. Very good. Today is Monday. Let's sing our days of the week song. Will you help me sing, Sue? Okay, here we go. for us to check the weather. So look outside your window and see what the weather's like. Sue's so gonna go check our weather. What's your weather like today? Is it sunny or maybe it's cloudy or rainy? Maybe it's windy. Did you go and check? Okay, well, let's sing about it. When I do like this with my microphone, just shout out your weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is out today. Well, let's dress weather there. I think we're going to put on, let's see, a t-shirt for weather bear. And we'll put on some pants. And it's kind of getting warmer where we are. So I think we might get the jacket just kind of over here to the side. What season is it? It's still winter, but on March the 20th, it will be the first day of spring. So spring is coming in about two more weeks. Well, it is time for us to ring the bell. It's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is letter O. Letter O. If you have an O in your name, you can stand up as I sing. If your name has letter O, stand up. If your name has letter O, stand up. If your name has letter O, if your name has letter O, if your name has letter O, stand up. Yay! Well, today's theme is O is for over in the meadow. So I decorated my letter O with a green marker. Me meadows are usually full of green grass and sometimes there are flowers growing in the meadow, so I just added some flower stickers. You could also draw flowers if you wanted to. So what is this letter again? This letter is letter O. I hope you have fun decorating your letter O today. 
And parents, you can get a copy of all the blank alphabet and the handwriting sheet I'm about to show you at my website. The link is below. Well, let me show you how to write the letter O now that we can recognize it. We're going to start at the top. We're going to curve around and all the way back, around and back. Can you make a big letter O? Let me show you how to make an O using handwriting paper. Start at the top, curve around and back, upstairs and downstairs for the big letter O around and back. Start at the top, go around and then back where you started, around and back. That's the big letter O. You can pause and practice or you can continue to practice later. Well, to make a little O, you do the same thing. Just make it smaller. Start at the top, go around and back. If you're using handwriting paper, then little O needs to go downstairs. Let me show you. So find the stairs on the handwriting sheet and make an O downstairs like this, around and back, around and back. That's how you make a little letter O. Well, I would love to cheer for you. Did you make a letter O? Well, I know you're listening and learning, so I'm going to give you a sticker. This is for handwriting time. Nice job. Well, now we know what O looks like. We know how to write letter O, so it's time to talk about the sound that O makes. Letter O is one of the five special letters that we call vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. The vowels are special because every word must have one. If it doesn't have a vowel, then it's not a real word. So we really work hard to learn our vowels. And every time we talk about a vowel, we get a visit from one of the vowel people. And here he comes. Parents, you can also get a set of these vowel people stick puppets on my website for free. Just look under shop and free. Okay, so. This is my friend, O, and he has a sore throat. He goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Can you do that? Open your mouth and say, ah. Well, if you look really carefully, you can see a letter O hiding in the picture. Can you see letter O? His mouth looks like the letter O. Well, your mouth does too. Make that letter O sound again. Ah, uh, see, your mouth looks like letter O. So when you see a letter O, I hope it will remind you of my friend O. He has a sore throat. He goes to the doctor and says what? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's one sound that O can make. We say that that is O's short sound. Ah, uh, O can also make a long sound. The long sound is its own name. So O can say O. O can say O, as in over, over in the meadow. That's the name of the book we're going to read today. And over in the meadow, there are lots of animals that live there in the meadow. So today for art, we are making a turtle. I'm going to show you how. So I just took a paper plate. You can see that I colored it green. I took some green colorful paper and just cut out a head, four legs, and a tail. I glued those to the back of the paper plate. I added eyes and a little mouth, and ta-da! I have a cute little turtle like the one we're going to see in our story today. So let's get started. Let's read Over in the Meadow. So here's our story for today, Over in the Meadow, which is illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats.
Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle, one. Dig, said the mother. I dig, said the one. So he dug all day in the sand, in the sun. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue, lived an old mother fish and her little fishes, too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam and they leaped where the streams run blue. Over in the meadow in a hole in a tree lived a mother bluebird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother. We sing, said the three. So they sang and were glad in the hole in the tree. Over in the meadow in the reeds on the shore lived a mother muskrat and her little ratties four. Dive, said the mother. We dive, said the four. So they dived and they burrowed in the reeds on the shore. Over in the meadow in a snug beehive lived a mother honeybee and her little honeys five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they hummed near the snug beehive. Over in the meadow in a nest built of sticks lived a black mother crow and her little crows six. Caw, said the mother. We caw, said the six. So they cawed and they called in their nest built of sticks. Over in the meadow where the grass is so even lived a happy mother cricket and her little cricket seven. Chirp, said the mother. We chirp, said the seven. So they chirped cheery notes in the grass soft and even. Over in the meadow by the old mossy gate lived a brown mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked in the sun by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow where the clear pools shine lived a green mother frog and her little froggies nine. Croak, said the mother. We croak, said the nine. So they croaked and they jumped where the clear pools shine. Over in the meadow in a soft shady glen lived a mother firefly and her little flies ten. Shine, said the mother. We shine, said the ten. So they shone like stars in the soft Glady Shady Glen. The end. Well, that was a fun story, and you can use that story for counting all the way from one to ten. You can practice tally marks if you want to. One all the way up to ten. When you get to five, you have to draw a line across. So maybe that can be your math for today. Well, Sue, I hope that we will see our friends tomorrow. We'll see you if you can come back for more calendar time. Goodbye. Tomorrow's letter is letter P. See you then.